Hello, how's it going guys? Barry Haynes back again slapping you guys with another TDM competitive commentary. This is actually going to be a bonus episode um, versus two different teams, two uh, very high ranked teams in UMG on the same map and kind of break down um, how we kind of dominate TDMs because uh, if you guys have been watching my um, videos, been following art or watching my live streams, um, you guys probably know by now that TDM is our strongest uh, game mode. We have probably only dropped about four or five. That might be exaggeration. Um, I don't know. I don't think we've lost more than six TDMs this whole entire ladder, which is uh, saying something. So um, <clears throat> we're going to get right into it, and we're going to begin the match uh, by showing LBP's wrinkled ass as you guys can see right over there <laughs> and if you guys saw the video um we um i said video if you guys saw the saw the scorecard we're actually playing silver fox's team and this is actually going to turn out into be uh into a, a player featured kind of episode if you guys know what i mean because um i obviously didn't play this game because i was sleeping and i was deciding whether should i pov the whole team or should i uh, what should i do with it but um as you guys are going to find out in a moment, Uncharted just absolutely goes off in this game. Um, and in the next game as well. I think TDM Temple is his favorite map. <laughs> uh, and favorite combination. And look at how thirsty he is. He just kills the hammer. And what a great dodge there by him. I mean, just absolutely wrecks. I think that was Silver Fox. Um, I think that was Numsy. I don't know. Whoever that was, he absolutely outplayed him. Um, anticipated that they'll shoot an RPG at him. And a great dodge by him. And just uh, chucks the grenade at the deagle but unfortunately it gets taken out so um at this point after one minute of play a pretty decent five to three score um, like every tdm temple maps are and then this there comes the second push to uh to take over the top if you if you're if you played uncharted for so long and, I still buy him just got five to shot well. and recognizing he was weak so he rushed blinky as well and is he gonna go for a three piece he is gonna go for a three piece he's gonna get him and he does and I don't think that guy top wing is going to challenge because the whole of his team is wiped. And uh, clever thinking on LPP's part, he is going to start pushing bottom green, but I did not expect the guy to be there, nor did he. So Blinky takes him out. Uh, good play by him. Uh, uh, most of the time, not most of the time, but uh, what people, this is actually really interesting. I'm sorry if I cut my uh, previous off. As soon as you spawn in tempo, always make sure if, if anyone's watching your bottom green or bottom red, because that's how at least 20% of the kills are spawn trapped on temple. That's the majority of the kills are on, um, on temple, just getting, getting you spawn trapped. So um, going back to my previous point, if, you, if you've if you played, if you've been watching temple and playing temple since Uncharted 2 days, you guys know um, you have to hold the top, you have to get the power weapons and basically control the map. Even though the villains, uh, even the side that doesn't have top, they do get um, hammer and some can argue even, even the mag they get access to the mag as well but um that's that's more like a toss up but you still want to uh you still want to have the top side just because you have height advantage and then you if you have the top you control about 60% 70% of the map especially if you have top green and top red which i think in this case we do um you guys are going to see a contrast like a big difference and as to how we um by we i mean my team art as we control the top and how um, I think the, the other team they, they call themselves Blue, and how Blue controls the top. Um, they you're gonna see how well organized we are. Uh, we have players in the exact positions as we need them to be, and uh, callouts are made. I mean, I mean, look at this. There is no way. Like this is criminal. There is no way that if a team has top and a guy just runs uncontested without a single gunfight, without killing anyone, straight down bottom red. And especially at this time, because uh, Hammer is going to spawn in about 5 to 10 seconds. And there you go, as I'm saying, Hammer spawns. And LBP is watching exact their every single move. So he's going to come down here. First of all, he's going to kill the guy who's waiting up there. That's a free kill. And now, the Hammer guy is in a spot of bother. Not only he's, he doesn't switch, he tries to go for a kill. But what that does is, he could only get one shot off and he drops Hammer, which, you, which is a big no-no. You don't want to do that. And you guys are going to see a direct result of that. As soon as he drops the hammer, he gets the floor with his top red. And all of a sudden, he's firing some, just, just some random shots just to push him back so they don't rush the catwalk. And right away, um, 
they have no one watching top red, no one watching top green. What that means is he's going to get RPG uncontested as well. I think he got shot over the top red, but um, I don't think the guy's going to stick around to get, a, <laughs> to get a second shot on him. And as you guys can see, they tried to make a push, and this is so dumb. Like, why would you do that? If, if you know a guy has RPG, why would you just try to run from bottom red to um, in the base? I mean, I, that play didn't make sense to me, but maybe they had a different plan. And again, our team is back into positions. Every time we play TDM, it's all about positioning and controlling the map. That's how we that's how we play TDMs. We don't like to run around aimlessly and try to give the other team free kills. Every time the other team gets a kill on us, we feel like we have to make them earn that kill. And um, I don't know why that guy's pushing up with the right shield because he just saw his team get killed with RPG. Like, I have no idea what's going on. Um, and LVP gets soft to a streak so we're gonna quickly take a look at the scoreboard right here as you guys can see Uncharted just got off to a hot start and Brad is uh, whenever Brad plays we, his role on this map is to hold down the catwalk so he's doing a pretty good job of that he hasn't died which is partly why we haven't lost the top yet because as long as you die as long as you have that one guy up in the catwalk with the shotgun you always have a chance, even if your whole team gets wiped out. If that guy is up there just cloaking or just hiding or running around with the shotgun, um, it it takes so much distract, like it distracts the team so much that they 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 don't watch any of the exit ways. They're so concerned about the guy up top, they kind of get reckless and uh, careless, and they um, just have people coming from top red, top green, and just kill them in the back, flank them, whatever. And this is actually going to be one of the rare cases where. Uh, we didn't really have any callouts or positioning on the map. LBP usually watches uh, Deagle, and since he was dead, uh, there was no one watching Deagle, and uh, Brad dies. And uh, what a freaking play it is. Like, take a look. He throws a grenade, but before the grenade starts to land, he makes sure he shoots the guy. What's the normal reaction? If you get shot from left, what are you going to do if you're behind a pillar? You're going to go to the right side. But the little did he know that he had already chucked the grenade up there. So these little plays um, are the um, is what makes the difference. And now as you guys can see, this was only me and Cobra on top red. And he resumes this great position behind top red. And he expects a push from Numzy. And Numzy falls for it. I mean, he was two steps ahead of him. Two steps ahead of the play, anticipating, and that earns him a second kill. And again, the control of uh, control of the top. And Croatia is most likely going to die over there. And as soon as he gets to a deagle, he pre-fires the corner, expecting someone to be there. So you have to be proactive. You have to, a lot of the time, you have to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to predict where the enemy, enemy players are going to be, especially a tactical map like Temple which LBP does a great job of and I have no idea why there is no one on top red from their team so at least they have one guy top uh, they have one guy bottom bottom uh, bottom pillar I mean bottom statue so at least uh, now LBP can't just freely run all the way down and uh, try to just get a flank on him and we are gonna quick uh, quickly um, forward fast forward the bit because it's boring and I'm trying to trying to get two videos fitted into one so uh, again uh, he gets an RPG uncontested I don't know how you allow that if you don't have if you don't have top at least have like a if if you if you don't if you've lost the if you've lost the map control on the, the top side and temple you want to make sure at least you guys have either top red or top green you have to have both uh, at least one of the sides you can't have both and I don't know what they're doing at this point I think they have they're trying to bait LBP out so they can try to get shots on them and there's three of them <laughs> there's three of them in red side which again I don't know why because they're just uh, kind of trapping themselves into the into one side and I'm pretty sure LBP called it out at that point that's why he rushed straight to uh, spawn trap them in bottom red but uh, I think that was Blinky who was hiding by uh, at the spot over there and quickly recognizes the danger and he pushes uh, pushes him back and he did not get killed for a while so I'm just gonna fast forward this a bit um, I'm, again I'm trying to I'm trying to squeeze two TDMs into it and again they just let him walk all the way um, from top red to bottom red uncontested without having a kill or without uh, being in a gunfight and what happens they uh, they give us the hammer and oh I think they were all uh, pushing top green so um, good plays on them I don't think we should have uh, gotten all of them wiped the way that we just did but um, good plays on them they just wiped us out now they have the top control and now you guys are gonna see the difference when we play bottom we don't have catwalk and the difference to them first of all let's take everyone's position Brad is gonna go up on Deagle we have Croatia watching bottom red 
and then we have Cobra watching Hammer. So none of these guys can get shot in the back and uh, Brad is going to leave the Deagle to Uncharted and he's going to watch Bottom Green. So as you guys can see, we have a guy watching Bottom Green, a guy watching Bottom Red, that was Croatia, a guy in the uh, grenade room, and Uncharted's just going to sit there for the... Just, um, just gonna sit there and watch uh, the middle stairs and deal because um you call it camping but we kind of earned ourselves this spot because we have 10 kill lead only four minutes left we did all the hard part the beginning of the game and let's see what they're doing they have silver fox who's gonna rush down and i don't think he knows brad is behind this is classic brad he loves to cloak hide in unusual spots and all of a sudden just pounce on him. And in my opinion, this was a really good trade-off because uh, you could have done a serious damage with that RPG, but because he wasn't aware, he is gonna drop RPG. I don't. I think he did, and in the process of Uncharted trying to go there, he died. Um, again, they just wasted another power weapon. Sure, they have the map control, and look at this, guys. They are not even looking at their own base, and as a result, what's gonna happen is they're gonna give away two kills. One Solar Fox, second Blinky. It goes back to my point of being not organized and not making callouts, no communications, not knowing where the other team is. This was just a sloppy, sloppy play on their part. I mean, you guys are gonna see. Uh, you guys, well, you guys did see um, huge difference in the play style. So our team is a, bit more, uh, a lot more organized, actually, I should say. And I'm just gonna quick sim um, the rest of the match. A lot more organized than the other team. He's gonna get taken out over there. And that's how you play TDM. A lot of time, that expansive playstyle of just running around aimlessly gets gets you a lot of kills. But if you go up against a really good team that is organized, that they know what they're doing, they have their mics, they're making callouts. Um, this is what it happens. It becomes a blowout because and not 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 at one point in this game, except for the first minute, we were even within five kills or like six kills. And look at this. They did not even check the top red before walking in. And great play by him. He takes both of them out. I mean. Uncharted was in his zone in this game, which he actually has been in his, in his zone for, uh, I think, in the last the whole last month ever since we came back. It, it took him a while to get started, to get used to uh, playing Uncharted again. But after that, he's just been a straight up monster. And, and look at his play. He got shot. He does not even turn around. He goes all the way bottom, then goes back up top, and then picks up another kill. Oh, he's gonna get taken out by Blinky over there. Um, and I'm gonna uh, put the updated scorecard as you guys can see. As soon as Uncharted spawns, look at these scores. Um, absolutely incredible. Blinky and Numsy uh, put up a good fight on their team, but uh, other than that, it's nothing really to show uh, at this point. And that's a good snipe by Numsy. Takes OPP out. But there you guys have it. That was our TDM Temple against uh, Blue. And we're going to quickly move over to our TDM Temple against three tiers. So just bear with me. And here we guys have it. Um, this is a, a TDM versus three tiers where we absolutely crushed them, destroyed them, dominated them, whatever words, superlatives, adjectives you want, guys want to use. Um, contrasting playstyle again, in a 3v3, LBP goes up to shotgun instead of a hammer. And a quick turn um, head up by both of these players, they traded off. And um, this is going to be another player focus on Uncharted LBP, and I have no idea how that hammer is still over there. And LB props to LBP for recognizing that, being the first player to the hammer, and he picks it up, goes back up there again. If you let good players get all the power weapons, there is nothing else that's going to happen other than you just dying. And Cobra is doing Brad's job up there since Brad's not playing, which is holding down the catwalk. And I'm going to um, just drift around to see uh, whichever side needs help and kind of help it over. And again, I have no idea how how do you just enter <laughs> top red on temple, um, top green I should I say on temple and just do that without even looking around and it just baffles me I don't know maybe it's just it's 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 hard for me to see I mean even this play like how do you just, just go on deagle right, and not even look around it, maybe it's just me or maybe it's just the way we play as a team that we're so cautious and look out um, every corner make sure there's no one there basically being two steps ahead of the other team predicting plays and great grenade and as you guys can already see we are off to a hot start cobra's five and oh and charlie's four and one i'm one and two struggling a little bit but that doesn't matter the team is winning ten to three and then uh, Charter, uh, i don't know why i did that like why would you 
I think he had cloaked on as well. So why would you challenge anyone with a pistol and cloaked when someone has M9 and Fleet Foot? Um, again, it brings me back to my same point that um, us that we usually like to predict uh, the rush of the other team, what they're gonna do. Uh, and finally, they get to uh, manage to get LVP off the off the Deagle. Um, how? Uh, b b um, I'm sorry if I'm if I'm lost for words. <laughs> There's so much going on. I'm trying to cover everything. Um, nice grenade. One of them is down. We still have the cat box since Cobra is up there, so we don't. We, there's no panic mode right now because we know we have the control. As long as we have the top the cat box, we have the top control. And like I said, Cobra is still getting kills up there. Cobra is still remained uh, by MC. Yeah, but he was weak in the process because I did manage to get a few shots off of him, and then LPP clears him out. And Cobra dies as well. And I think Supreme is up there with him, and then good play on his part. And me and Cobra are spawning in from green side, so we are kind of flooding in because we do see a chance. Uh, do, um, the reason why we usually wouldn't have flooded in, but the reason why we did flood in was because the power weapon rotation is about to start. Hammer, RPG, Deagle, and Shotgun should be spawning pretty soon. And I was surprised how easily we were able to take the top again because... Again, um, we were more organized, we pushed better than they did, and I think I was controlling Hammer at that point. Um, killed in you. And if LPP gets that kill, I don't think he will, yeah, uh, deservedly so. There's no way, there's no way in Jerusalem he deserved to kill that guy, <laughs> just head up when he's corner shooting on top red. Um... So we'd like, uh, like I'm saying, uh, stressing my point, the way we usually play is we call out, we communicate, we predict where the other team is going to be, and again, once you, when you, when you have a power weapon in your hand, when you're about to die, make sure you put it on your back so the other team doesn't get it. Even though we didn't have the control of RPG in this uh, rotation, they did, we were able to kill them off and then get the power weapon off of them. And I don't think they were communicating at this point because uh, he shouldn't have been over there challenging knowingly that um, RPG was in one of our players' hand. Again, a t solid 10-point lead. Updated score right here. On our part, there's no reason for us to end a great grenade by Supreme. I did not even see that coming. <laughs> I don't even know where he threw that from. Um, no point of really taking any risks. And again, I, I'm just baffled. I just don't understand how the team just let us get power weapons so easy. Maybe they're not concentrating maybe they are just playing in the moment too much they don't realize that power weapons are or will be spawning pretty soon i don't know we, we just don't play like that and look at those that technique guys uh, something new to learn you can bounce hammer shots off top um shotgun and kill the guy on the front catwalk and lbp still has two more hammer shots on him oh and again he had no idea the player was there again predicting where the other team is gonna be what team they're going to be pushing in from, uh, making plays, and finally getting lucky. If you don't try, you don't get a kill, so good props to him. Still going really, really strong, 12-5, and five, Cobra 7-1. and one. I'm kind of struggling 7-8 and eight a bit because I'm trying to float around between Deagle and Catwalk, as you guys can see. At this point, I'm hanging off of Deagle, trying to control that spawn, and LBP and Cobra are kind of um, taking over the Catwalk by now. And again... I don't understand. <laughs> they maybe they did not anticipate LVP to be in that position, but whenever you are pushing uh, Catwalk, you have to be so cautious, and that's the second streak of the game already. So we're gonna try to quick sim a bit until his next kill. Two of them top red. I'm just uh, floating around in the bottom because we have like a 16 point lead. So against a good team, when they know what they're doing, there's no way for us to lose in this match. Make that 17. He's gone. You make that 18, 18 kill lead over a top ranked team. Make it 19. <laughs> I mean, I could keep going. Um, like I said, we were we came out so aggressive in that game. Um, like we came out aggressive in plunder against TW. If you guys have seen my previous video, uh, this is how we like to uh, make that a 20. I mean, that is incredible. 35 to 15. At this point, the game was pretty much over, so we just started running around. As you guys can see, me and Cobra's body language, we're just, like, running around. Already thinking about the next match, which was Fort Plunder, which is going to be a video of its own. Um, it's it's mm. actually going to be one of the best matches I've played. And you guys will know the reason exactly why I say that uh, when I upload the match. And good uh, heads up play on Supreme. He killed LPP, and finally they got a hold of an RPG, a power weapon and see what they can do with it and gets one kill and he kills and charges with it so 
Um, we're still flooding Kapok, and I don't, th I don't know how they're controlling the spawns. And look at how LBP makes sure he checks around his corners, makes sure there's a guy on Deagle, and he just kills him with one simple grenade. Um, amazing, amazing stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the POV that I'm doing of LBP. He's one of the best players in the game, so you guys can see, watch, and learn what they're doing. And I have no idea how he's still alive. He stole Mag off of him, and he's gonna try to climb up behind him. <laughs> if he gets the skill, it's gonna be crazy. Um, he's still searching for the guy, and I don't know why he did not move when he felt the first shot. Again, all these plays may seem stupid to me, but it's probably because we are so used to playing TDM and being so good at it that we always predict what the other teams are going to do, always two steps ahead of them. And again, how could they not... I'm just going to let you guys decide. Are these plays stupid, you guys think? Uh, I'm commentating on them, or is it just the way we play we're so organized we communicate and predict two steps ahead of the other oh, team hell. that we kind of always guess how the other team's gonna say predict kind of study their plays and see what they're doing um just let me know in the comments below so uh, we only have six minutes left uh 20 19 point 20 21 point kill lead at this point and uh we did have a to the play on this part. So fast forward so we can wrap this uh, commentary up. And uh, just let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see more. I know you guys would like love the commentary. If you'd like to uh, me to do more of this, uh, having a having a different POV for once and explaining what goes through their head, how they're playing as a team. Or would you guys uh, just rather trust me and let me do my own thing and just, uh, just see where we go? Uh, four minutes left. We only need four more kills. Three tiers only. Have 29 kills. 30 kills make it now. I mean, it, if it, even if it's only, I shouldn't say only. If it's only 18 kills, in my opinion, that's not only if you're playing against a good team. If you lose by more than seven kills, you've pretty much been outplayed. But uh, if you lose by over um, 15 kills, that's just unacceptable in my part. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this double upload. Um, these cinemas were burning a hole in my <laughs> cinema file, so I just wanted to upload and show it to you guys. Um, and oh, I'm already in my outro before I've even finished the video, so <laughs> we're gonna stick around for one last kill. And I was over there trying to get barbecue on him. He came in, like, uh, he came in <laughs> one second earlier than I predicted. Was trying to end the video on the bang. Nate, Nate, look at the scores, guys. Uh, LPP gets 23 kills, I get 15 kills with 8 assists, Cobra gets 12, and the other team just completely got demolished. Um, there you guys have it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like the, like the button, <laughs> leave your feedback, and as always, take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.